Powered by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. This has been the winter of Maggie Voison in Whitefish as everybody got ready for her performance in the 2018 Winter Games. But the town also hosted a former Olympian this month to lead their Winter Carnival Grand Parade. MTN's Jack Ginsburg goes on special assignment to tell us the story of Michael Edwards, an Olympic ski jumper who turned his unlikely childhood ski dreams into a reality. Michael Edwards was born in Cheltenham, England in 1963. Edwards took a school ski trip one year and was fascinated with the sport ever since. And that was the start of um, a wonderful 40 years of, um, of skiing and having fun. Edwards moved to Lake Placid and began to pursue the sport there, racing in slalom and GS internationally. When he wasn't skiing, he was working for money or food to fuel his ski racing dreams. Cut grass in the summer, shovel snow, wait tables, a um, bit of washing up scrubbing floors, all that kind of thing. And I scraped food out of bins, I slept in the car, I slept in cow sheds, I um, did all kinds of things just so that I could stay out there and carry on my skiing and then eventually my ski jumping. Eddie ended up making the switch from ski racing to ski jumping because of the lower cost. He trained hard for months, leading up to what he says is one of his proudest life moments. And started jumping in France and Germany and Austria and Switzerland and Norway and Finland. And then finally, I managed to qualify for the Olympic Games in Calgary in 1988 and became Britain's first and last Olympic ski jumper. Eddie competed in and finished last in both the 70 meter and 90 meter events. I knew that I wasn't going to do very well because I'd only been jumping for 20 months. Everybody else had been jumping for 20 years. However, fans loved him. His failures seemed to resonate with people around the globe. For me, just getting there was my gold medal. And, um, and I was going to enjoy every single second of being at those Olympic Games. He was cheered on throughout the Games and after became a media celebrity, earning himself the nickname Eddie the Eagle. And having the crowd there and they were just shouting and screaming and shouting, Eddie, Eddie, it was just incredible and um, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Since the Games, Eddie has been traveling the world, participating in various ski related events. This winter, he came to Whitefish to be the Grand Marshal of the 59th Annual Winter Carnival. Eddie spent the entire week here signing autographs, getting to know the community, and even speaking to high schoolers. Just his overall story of uh, not being very good and then coming up to go to the Olympics for the Great Britain team was an amazing story. So. It wasn't just photo opportunities, talking to students, signing autographs, and marching down Central Avenue as the most important person in the parade. Eddie the Eagle also got to do some skiing up here on Big Mountain with a fellow competitor from the 1988 Games, Whitefish's own Hillary Lind. Lind and Edwards carved up the mountain for a few hours and reminisced on the 1988 Calgary Games. We had the guy, uh, Baxter, who came second or something, and then. Um, Eddie ended the week by rolling through the streets of Whitefish on one of the city's biggest days. Again, hearing the people and fans calling his name. Jack Ginsburg, MTN News, Whitefish. And there was actually a movie called Eddie the Eagle, released in 2016, starring Taron Edgerton in the title role, and that cast also included Hugh Jackman and Christopher Walken. It is a charming movie. If you can rent it or download it or whatever one does, do that. <laughs> it's good stuff. I think we should have built a nice uh, jump for him while he was here. Yeah. Up next in Health Watch, how the state is helping those hooked on smokeless tobacco quit this month. And residents of this town in Greece have a unique tradition, a flower war. We'll take a closer look still ahead.